In this video, I'm going to show you how to build your own personal web analysis tool. It's an on-demand dashboard where you can paste any URL, a news article, a blog post, a product page, and get an instant AI-powered breakdown. It will scrape the content, summarize it, assign it a category, and even perform sentiment analysis. And it's super easy and quick to create. We'll build this entire interactive app in a single Python file using three key technologies. Firecrawl to effortlessly scrape website data, and LLM from OpenAI to perform the analysis, and Streamlit to create the fast, beautiful user interface. So let's get started. And thanks to Firecrawl for partnering with me for this video. Okay, let's get our project environment ready. I have a new directory already. And then we'll install the libraries we need. So Firecrawl is going to help us crawl the web and scrape the web, open AI. And we have Streamlit that's going to help us create a quick local app. And then just python.env for our environment variables. Now let's get our Firecrawl API key. Firecrawl makes it super easy to scrape any website. So you need to create an account or get logged in. And they have different endpoints like the scrape endpoint, search, crawl, and extract. And we're going to be using the scrape endpoint. So let's copy our API key. Now I have the directory open in Visual Studio Code. I already have a .env file and an app.py where we'll put our code. So you can see we need our Firecrawl API key and our OpenAI API key. So just insert your Firecrawl API key and then you're going to have to get your OpenAI API key on your own also. Okay, now the fun part. So create or go into your app.py file and I'm going to just put all the code right here. So first we have our imports, including Streamlit. I mentioned that before. It's a, a Python framework for rapidly building and sharing custom web applications. We're importing Firecrawl, OpenAI.env so we can load our environment variables. And then we have our configuration. This configuration is for Streamlit to make our page really quick with our page title, our icon, and the layout of the page. And then we just load our environment variables, our keys. And then we get to our two core functions. We have the scrape content function and the analyze content with lm function. So let's break down the scrape content function. This is where we use Firecrawl. So first we have to check if it's actually receiving a URL. And then we have three main lines of code. So the first one is where we initialize the Firecrawl client. This creates an instance of the Firecrawl service authenticating our request with the API key we loaded from the environment variable. And this app object is now ready to perform scraping tasks. And then second, we perform the scrape. So this is the most important line, the app.scrape, we're using the scrape method. And then we pass in the URL that the user inputted into the web, the web app. And we also pass in the formats parameter. So Firecrawl can return data in multiple formats, like raw HTML, or even a screenshot of the page. So by specifying markdown, we're telling Firecrawl we only want the clean, LLM-ready text content stripped of all the messy HTML and JavaScript. And then finally, we just return the data. Um, so it returns a custom document object and the object holds all the data from the scrape. So to get the specific piece of data we need, which is the markdown content, we simply access the dot markdown attribute on our scraped data object. So this is a clean way to get the, exactly what we asked for. So uh, just a few lines of code, Firecrawl handles all the complex background work, like navigating the page, dealing with anti-bot measures, and parsing the content to give us exactly what we need for the next step which is the AI analysis, analyze content with LLM. So this is going to send the markdown content to OpenAI and ask for a JSON object with our analysis. It's pretty straightforward. We get our system prompt. Let's say you are an expert content analysis, analyze the provide text and return a JSON object with three keys. We have the summary and the category and the sentiment. And then this is just the standard OpenAI completions API with our model where our response format is going to be a JSON object. And then we pass in the system prompt and the content, and then we just get the data that comes out of it. Okay, now we're just gonna scroll down to the next section. 
which is uh, the Streamlit UI section, which builds the website with uh, what you built with a title. And then we have some text of what we're supposed to do on the website. And then we have our text input where, where someone's going to enter the URL. And then we have our button that triggers the whole process. So the analyze URL. So if there's a URL input from the text input, then it's going to have a spinner scraping the website with firecrawl. And it's going to call the scrape content function to get the scrape markdown. And we have the scrape markdown, scraping successful. And then another spinner, AI is analyzing the content. We're going to call the analyze content with LM function. And then if we get it a result, success, and then we show the results. And then we're just going to create a few columns with uh, the category and the sentiment from the results. And then the, the summary, the website summary, or it could say could not generate summary. And then it's also going to be possible to view the raw scrape content. So it's actually pretty quick and straightforward. So let's see it in action over in the terminal at the bottom, streamlit run app.py. Okay, we can see the URL to go to. So this is what it looks like. So let's see how it works. So we need to get a URL. Generally, it's going to be an article or really any website. Let's try this one, event-based architectures and JavaScript, a handbook for devs. So this is a pretty long article, but I'm just going to copy the URL. And we'll paste in here and analyze the URL. So scraping the website with Firecrawl. We're done scraping, and now it's analyzing the content. Okay, the results, it's category technology, sentiment neutral. This text is an in-depth guide on event-driven architecture dealing with how they implement it in JavaScript and their advantage for building scalable decoupled systems. So it just gives a summary of the article. And we can also view the scrape content, which ends up getting the images as well. And it almost look, it looks very similar to the article because it's displaying the, the markdown format. Okay, now let's try it with an article from CNN. So I'll put in the, R the URL and then just do analyze URL. Okay, scraping and analysis, com analysis complete. Category economy, sentiment neutral. And then we have a summary of the article. Okay, and you can see how you could use this to create a website that just automatically gets all the different articles and gives a summary of all the different articles. And so you can use it for more than just analyzing one article at a time, but it can analyze any website so there's a lot more features we could add to this. So there you have it. In one file, in just a few minutes, we've built a powerful and practical AI analysis dashboard. We use Firecrawl to handle the messy part of web scraping and an LM to do the complex thinking, all wrapped up in a clean, streamlit UI. You can find all the code using the link in the description, and you can add additional features yourself. Thanks for watching, and remember to use your code for good.